Did you know that Unreal Engine has a few hidden tools for 2D and 2.5D games which help you speed up development immensely? I'm not talking about Paper 2D or Paper ZD as a whole, which if you've been following this channel you should know plenty about already, but I am talking about a hidden feature set which even after making 2D games in Unreal for about 3 years I only stumbled upon recently, and I wish I would have found sooner. It doesn't matter if you're making a 2D game, a 2D 3D hybrid, or a 2.5D game using 3D models, these tools will help you position your actors correctly by providing snap layers and a new translate plus rotate gizmo. And I'll also throw in one extra 2D tip at the end which you probably also don't know about. A big problem with making games that take place on only two axes is that we need to make sure that everything is placed on the same lane or layer. Otherwise you might run into problems such as an enemy or gimmick being positioned incorrectly and being unable to interact with the player. If you're making a side scroller your game will use the red x axis and the blue z axis, while everything gameplay related should be locked to the same position on the y axis. In a top-down game on the other hand, you'll use the X and Y axis while the Z axis should always be the same. And by using the 2D layer tools, we can easily snap everything to the same position with the click of a single button. To turn on these tools in the first place, we need to go to the project settings, scroll down to the editor section and select 2D. Here we want to enable snap layers. By default we use Y as the snap axis, which is correct for side scrollers. If you're making a top-down game, then you'd want to use the z-axis instead. And you can see that by default we have three different snap layers, the foreground, default and the background, with a depth value of 100, 0 and minus 100 respectively. This allows you to place everything gameplay related on the default lane, but still place visual elements in the foreground or background. You could of course adjust the depth value to your liking and could even add more custom layers here if you need to. Now back on the map you should be able to see this button for the layers. Here you can select which of your layers you want to activate and I'll pick default. You can then select any actor and click on snap to 2D layer to instantly adjust the Y position of this actor. Of course you can also select multiple actors by holding shift or control and then set the position for all of them at once, making sure they're all on the same lane. And again this saves you the tedious process of manually copy and pasting the Y position and prevents bugs with some actors not being on the correct lane. But I do believe a very important feature of this is broken. When clicking this left magnet icon, we can activate auto snapping and I do believe if we drag any actor around and let go, this should automatically snap it to our layer. But for me, nothing happens if I have this on or off and I always have to manually click on snap to 2D layer. I suspect that this worked in older versions of Unreal but broke at some point and nobody bothered to fix it, given that this is a rather well hidden feature. Please let me know in the comments if the auto snapping is also broken for you or if it's an issue on my part. Of course, these layer tools also work for top-down games as I've mentioned before. In that case, the snap axis will need to be changed to Z, and you can then use the tools in the same way to position your actors. By the way, this game you're seeing right now is one of the three awesome games I'll teach you how to create in my brand new Unreal 2D top-down course, which doesn't only cover 2D games, but also awesome looking 2D 3D hybrid RPGs. Please check the discount link in the description to get it. But just snapping the actors to the correct position in the beginning might not be enough for 2D and 2.5D games. Even if you start on the correct lane, you could get pushed off by physics or other interactions. This is something I've talked about before, but on the character movement component of your character blueprint, you can activate constraint to plane. And on the plane constraint normal, set the axis you want to lock to 1.0 to activate it. In a side scroller, this means you'll have a plane constraint normal of 0, 1 and 0. And for a top down game, it would be 0, 0 and 1 to lock the correct axis. This makes sure that no matter what happens, your actor will always be locked to that lane. So it's something we want to use to complement our layer snapping settings. Another hidden feature I want to show you is the combined translate plus rotate widget, which we can again find in the project settings, editor and 2D section. Just turn this on and you should now be able to use select and translate or rotate objects in 2D. This is just a very small quality of life upgrade, but the gizmo allows you to move and rotate the character in 2D space without having to switch between modes and without the risk of pulling it into a different lane accidentally. And to close things out, I have one more tip that works great together with the tools we've covered so far. This is mostly useful for making pure 2D games rather than 2.5D games or 2D 3D hybrids. But making edits to your stage can be very hard when you're flying around in the default perspective view. For side scrollers you want to click on perspective and then select the right view. This will default you to the wireframe view mode but you can just switch back to the lit or unlit mode. 
For top-down games, you'd want to use the top view and then also go into lit or unlit mode. This allows you to move the camera around simply by right-clicking and dragging around and makes it super easy to position actors using our layers and the translate and rotate gizmo. I hope these tips will help you speed up your 2.5D game development. And if you want to learn how to make awesome top-down games in Unreal, check out the discount link in the description. Big thanks to my awesome patrons.